Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a run cycle animation in Blender. For this tutorial, I'll be using the Mars Mora rig and the Spider-Man rig, which you can download for free from the Agora community. To begin, let's create a new collection in Blender and name it Spider. Make sure to download the necessary rig by following the link provided in the description. Once you have the rig imported into your scene, go to the collections panel and select the SP, Spider-Man, rig. Before we start, let's divide our scene into three sections. I'll change one section to the movie clip editor. In the movie clip editor, you can add your reference for the run cycle animation. Select your reference and position it accordingly. Now, let's add a cylinder as our floor by pressing shift plus A and selecting cylinder. Before we proceed to the character's UI control, make sure to load the SP rig script in the script editor and click on run. You should now see the SP rig layer with UI controls. Go to the pose mode and change the hand from IC to FK. You can find the FK option in the SP layer. Hide the IC controls and adjust the settings for the leg. Set the IC stretch to zero and change the knee target's pool to foot. To optimize performance, you may want to lower the subdivision level in the render properties. Go to the Simplify tab and set the resolution to zero. Now everything should be running smoothly. To animate the character, we need to set keyframes for location and rotation. Make sure the auto key feature is enabled. Start your keyframes from frame 0, as mentioned in the reference. Go to frame 20 and end your keyframes there. Now, go back to frame 0 and begin posing your character. For the right foot, adjust the rotation using the sliders. Focusing on the heel. 
Do the same for the left leg, pulling it back and rotating it. Pay attention to any changes in the reference and match the poses accordingly. For the upper body, select the shoulder and rotate it slightly on the z-axis. Adjust the hand and forearm, making use of the finger control for finer movements. Make sure the shoulder is aligned with the reference, matching the pose. To review your animation, switch to the front view and ensure everything looks good before proceeding. Next, let's fine tune the spine. Reduce the spine's front facing rotation to match the reference. Select all the relevant bones in the spine and insert keyframes for frame 0. Move to frame 20 and check that there's no flip or sudden change from frame 0. Copy the keyframe from frame 0 and paste it on frame 10 to fix any inconsistencies. Verify the animation in the dope sheet editor by selecting the first keyframe, copying it, and applying it to frame 10 using the flip option. Play the animation to observe the smooth transition. Now, let's proceed to frame 2, where the character is leaning down.
adjust the pose accordingly, making sure it matches the reference. Continue animating the rest of the frames, staying consistent with the reference. Remember to keep an eye on the keyframes to ensure a seamless animation. Finally, you can refine the animation by adding more details, adjusting timing, and making any necessary changes.